Hey guys, I've been watching the Adventure Time Fiona and Cake spin off, and it's been great. So I decided to make a cool model for President Finn since he looks awesome in the show. Right off the bat, I started modeling Finn's beanie. I later then realized that my method of making the face first was somewhat problematic. So what I did was create a rough estimate of all the lengths of every body parts of the model. With the estimates being done with cubes, I was able to shape it later into its proper proportions. It was difficult since I did not have a 3D model reference prior into making this one. I am glad though since I was able to practice eyeballing or proportions. Despite being a cartoon, modeling Finn was way more difficult than my neon model. I guess the softness and shapes driven style of Adventure Time was difficult to convert into low poly. Or maybe I'm just not good. Finn's beanie was a tricky one to work around in terms of low poly. What I did was to extrude his face at the front using a sphere mesh so that we would be able to see his face in a side view angle, a lot better and more defined than just it being painted on. Using the vertices of the sphere as a guide, I then divided the faces of the beanie accordingly so that I would be able to shape the hole in front. After being cool with the head model, I turned my attention onto the chest. At this point, the model was looking like a Roblox character, so I had to fix it to make it look not goofy. Since the references I had on screen was inconsistent in terms of proportional lengths, I had to just wing it and try make my own interpretation of those lengths. Whenever I reach the middle point in making a low poly model, I always thought that the models look bad. It does, but I just try and trust the process. It works though. The rest would just be normal modeling, so I'll catch you near the end of the modeling phase.
All right. Here, I am just doing the good old rigging. I am grouping the stuff that moves together and separating the smaller moving parts into subfolders. It is so that I would be able to rotate them easier and not create conflicts with other meshes. The texturing for this model was easier than of the ones I have previously made. Since it is in a cartoon style, I had to use simple colors. And that was the problem. I am bad at colors. So what I did was grab Fiona's colors and dap it onto Finn's texture. It looked fine at first, but then I got irritated with how blue it is despite me loving the color blue. So off screen. I made a palette that suited Finn way better since he is a completely different character to who he was in the main series. I ended up loving that palette. Also, the other problem I had while making this model was figuring out how to do his facial hair and long hair. I figured it out eventually.
As you can see, I swapped the palette with the one I made off screen. From here, it was just straight on texturing and nothing much. I did add a bit more details on the pants later on, you will see it in the showcase at the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video process, I will see you in the next video.